Meghan Markle is believed to have caused Prince Charles to tell friends he hoped Prince Harry would not marry her as new claims suggest Duchess forced Harry to banish close friends for casting doubts over their marriage. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have captivated members of the public with their whirlwind romance and fairy tale wedding in front of family members and celebrities in Windsor last year. But as the couple prepares to welcome their first child sometime next month, with the Duchess of Sussex confirming in January she was six months pregnant and due in April, doubts have been cast about their rosy marriage. British magazine Tatler has claimed Prince Charles had a less than ecstatic reaction to meeting his daughter-in-law for the first time. Prince Charles is said to have had a rather negative reaction upon his first meeting with the Los Angeles native, allegedly telling a friend I just hope he doesn't marry her. The article also claimed the Duke of Sussex froze out members of his old posse for criticizing Meghan Markle before the wedding, going as far as casting out loyal friend Tom Inskip for suggesting Harry should think again before going ahead with the wedding. The author of the piece, going simply by Tatler, noted, hang out with the Clooney slash Beckham slash Soho house set and be assailed for being too Hollywood, for forcing your henpecked husband to abandon his old, country set muckers including Tom Skippy Inskip, the ultra-loyal, tight-lipped Harry pal, who, it said, advised Harry not to marry Meghan and has paid the price, banishment. Mr Inskip was however said not to be the only one urging Prince Harry to take time with his relationship with the now Duchess of Sussex as the author echoed reports about Prince William intervening against the marriage. Claims about William's attempt to stop the wedding have fueled rumors of a rift between the Cambridge and Sussex households, further stoked up by the announcement Meghan and Harry will soon be granted their personal household separate from William and wife Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. Prince Charles is funding the new office, and a royal source told the Sunday Times, they want their household to be entirely independent of Buckingham Palace, but were told no. There is an institutional structure that doesn't allow that kind of independence. The Duchess of Sussex has been credited for trying to modernize the royal family and their approach to the public but royal commentators have suggested the second in line to the throne has not reacted well to Meghan's new role. Royal author Anna Pasternak said, I think that Prince William is very responsible and as I said knows what his role is and Kate has come alongside that executed that extremely well and I think it's quite difficult to have had Meghan who now seems to want to modernize and set her own agenda and you can't have it all. Meghan and Harry have started creating their new royal household by hiring communication expert Sarah Latham, who previously served on Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign team. The couple will run their office from Buckingham Palace under the watchful eye of the Queen's personal team while Kate and William will continue to run theirs from Kensington Palace. Ems Pasternak also issued some words of warning to the Duchess of Sussex, saying, I would like to offer a note of caution to Meghan. I think she's heading for a very tricky situation because I think, actually, very little has changed in the last 80 years in terms of the power of the courtiers. The one goal of the monarchy, the ultimate goal is survival and for that the spotlight has to be on the monarch or the heir apparent. 